let's take a look at the sums and differences of complex numbers. So we're going to add or subtract two complex numbers. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add or subtract the real parts and their imaginary parts separately. Now this is kind of what the book does and maybe what you kind of do in your head. Uh, but we have a plus b i equals c plus d i. So all it's saying is that you just group it together. You have a plus c equals b plus d. I'm sorry, a plus b, a plus c, parentheses, plus b plus d, and then the i just goes on the outside. It's the same thing for the subtraction. You do a minus c, and then plus b minus d, and then the i. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to write that, but really, when we do this, you'll see that you don't have to think about it in that way. So we're going to add and subtract complex numbers and write the answer in standard form. So standard form is a plus b i. So notice the real number is first, and then the imaginary part is second. So we're going to add 8 minus i plus 5 plus 4 i. And so the 5, we're going to add the 5 to here. So I'm just going to write it vertically. And then plus 4 i. So let's just add it. 8 plus 5 is 13, and then negative i plus 4i, that is a positive 3i. Now for letter B, we have 7 minus 6i and minus 3 minus 6i, so just distribute the negative. So that becomes a negative 3, and a negative times negative is a positive 6i. So we'll combine these. 7 minus 3 is 4, and then six, negative 6i plus 6i is 0, so therefore our answer is 4. For letter C, we notice that we need to distribute as well. So we're going to distribute the negative 2. Um, so that becomes negative 2 minus 7i. And then we still have this 13 and the 5i here. So let's combine like terms. Let's combine, let's see, the 13 and the negative 2. 13 minus 2 is 11. And then uh, 13 minus 2 is 11, and then we do the i, negative 7i plus 5i is a negative 2i, and we're done. So try out 8, 9, and 10 on your own. Okay, so we tried this out. 9 minus 6 is going to be 3, and then we have negative i plus 7i, so 7 minus 1 is a 6i. For number 9, we distribute the negative, so negative 8, and the negative times the negative is a positive 2i. So this becomes a negative 5 plus 9i. For number 10, we distribute this negative here, so that becomes a negative 1 minus i. And then that happens on this left side too, negative 5, and then minus 9i, and then that negative 4 is still in front. So let's combine like terms. Let's look at our constants first. So we have negative 4, negative 1, and negative 5. So that is negative 10. Then we have the negative i minus 9i. Well, that's a negative 10i. 